good evening to everyone welcome to this webinar we are facing <clears throat> difficult time everybody has to contact through this kind of webinar only we have to wait for long how long we don't know to get normal situations to meet and uh, conferences and various events anyway welcome to learn welcome i am very happy to share whatever the things i know to everyone it's not mean that i know i i do it's not mean that i know everything just i am sharing whatever i learned whatever i am experiencing <clears throat> so it is an um, immense pleasure to get blessing from father of homeopathy he is the one because of him only we are gathered here <clears throat> he is the one person to connect us next this is my eye opener my guru who is very expert in everything not only in homeopathy in all life situations many things he guided many things i have seen he is the one lifetime honeyman which i experienced so he teached lot what to do what not to do we have to respect such kind of person so i am very happy to getting blessing of him so today we are going to share i we are going to discuss two cases so through that what kind of approach i am doing what kind of approach i have done from what i learned from dr praful sir so this is the case number 1 mr kv 42 years old male basically an electrical engineer who is working in mahindra motors he is one of close friend of me so he presented <clears throat> complaints of dry cough since one week and mild difficulty in breathing since one day means when he, one day earlier started one day earlier to meet me history <clears throat> he had a fever 10 days ago treated with antipyretic during that time he was in his relative's house it's almost to 250 kilometers away from hometown so after antipyretic drugs his fever was subside that mild manageable weakness unable to take proper food after a few days he traveled back to hometown there he started his online job but there was a mild cough followed by increasing the weakness and fever on and off <clears throat> paroxysm sub dry cough fever usually in the afternoon about 2 pm starts about to after an afternoon after 2 pm till the evening during the fever he felt <clears throat> chills so he became restless and anxious appetite was not much forcibly takes the food <clears throat> thirstlessness there is no specific desire and aversion so as like others i also considered him has dull chilly thirstless plus anxious so i prescribed arsenic album 1m in water dose so within few hours the fever is gone cough reduced he feels better so in the night he called me that he is feeling better then i told you continue on the placebo i told him to continue remaining medicines that is placebo so but next day morning i received a phone call from him that that tiredness become increased 
frequency of cough also increased no desire for food at all but previously he was taken something with forcibly but today there is <clears throat> not possible of taking food but only thing there was no chills now he drinks forcibly warm water because of high colored urine so not only urine not only this there is an unwritten law in our culture that if anybody have fever or any sickness they have to take warm water ganji bread <clears throat> like that if you take that food you will be better that is a unwritten law so he is also follow the same law <clears throat> so he became more anxious talks that became complicating life this became complicating his life it may even fatal so he may died soon so by the time i, I was outside so there is no facilities of uh, repatriation so i told him uh, to collect one medicine uh, there is a aconite 10m one dose with a uh, aqua solution so he has taken few times i think uh, i am not remember about the dose but he have taken few times i have to check the case sheet uh, <clears throat> but the day is gone next day morning early morning phone call from his wife this time this time i was a bit anxious because she said problem was going out of control sir so he is is more danger is always <clears throat> in talking negatively he can't able to lie down whole night had more pain on left side of the chest not able to walk even slightest walk also um slightest walking also causes cough but not dyspnea but once he use that if he goes to toilet he feel some difficulties she told those things even the touching of clothes in the left side of the chest causes more painful literally i was frightened after she said this so immediately i sent for investigations ask them to check spo2 and temperature both but both were spo2 was normal temperature was slightly high found covid pneumonitis in ct chest predominantly of right side lung and a blood count shows that mild neutrophilia obviously serum ferritin was raised but d dimer was under control so this was the report so in that serum ferritin level showing 516 so they are mentioned normal report up to 250 another thing there is in the blood report the only neutrophilia neutrophils are 82 remaining all are within normal range there is no significant so this is the <clears throat> ct chest c screening of the ct chest so i have to credit this particular radiologist because we have at least 6 7 ct scan centers in our area he is the only person giving detailed reports lobe by lobe with properly this kind of reports only homeopaths want so whether he is knowingly gives or unknowingly gives but i like this particular radiological report it shows that predominantly of right side there is a gra patchy ground glass opacity is noticed in bilateral upper middle and lower lobe of lung segments including lingular segment predominant involvement of the right lung segment noted this was the one important clue we got <coughs> so in the um, is mentioned as a 12 of 25 almost 50% of lung involvement so we got the clue then plan to restudy the case meanwhile i i am even though i have planned to restart the re restudy the case i have small anxiety also uh i called one of my friend who is working in halopathy hospital i told him the details he may required bed so be ready be ready to arrange be ready to give one bed for me i have requested 
he told he will give on the next day so before that i have started <clears throat> working out after seeing the investigation i started to probe his wife she told sir actually we went for one function but uh, one function my brother in law built new house so we went for the house warming ceremony there most of the family uh, we went there and we spent almost one week there so shockingly after this uh, function many people those who are attended the functions got fever this was the recent update she had she told that and i told uh, I, i have taken it was the source of infection so i have considered that after that she opened another thing sir he is a i profile employee he earns at least 1.5 lakhs more than 1.5 lakhs per year so um, though he had lot of financial tension we have some credits it's manageable credits only but he always bothers about the credit and loans apart from that recent days he is watching he is giving more importance unknowingly or knowingly he is concerned about covid related news as covid related social media things um another thing we had another thing we got on news his colleague who is a close friend of him who is sharing vehicle for daily commuting office he had covid infection one week ago that means before he got sick so one week before he, the person uh, the patient got sick uh, he, uh, he was uh, dysnic so uh, after a huge struggle he had one newly built medical college hospital admitted there the, there is no proper facilities there is a substandard hospitals they are given only mattress for um, lying down and all even no bed no oxygen supply after the after this incidents one uh, one of the idiot who, who i don't know he has taken the photo and sent it in the group that is office uh, office uh, company employees group so there is a another uh, intelligent man changed the group name need bed for j dash the uh, that is he is changed the name group name as a need bed for that ma- affected person so these things and all he was watching he was more concerned more worries more over the daily watching that uh, whatsapp group some people are getting sick they are they uh, updating about their uh, life stay their about life uh, how they are going to come or how long they will take leave and all they are updating so daily daily he is seeing the thing apart from this i want to talk him any other thing so i rang up him he talked very anxiously he talked many things in that very important thing sir i can't manage to my family if something happens to me i don't know how they will manage will such use huge financial burdens if i if i if i am not there that was his consider uh, con- uh, huge consideration so after we talk talk him so this is this is in local language
so like this conversation goes so our the point he told about the common symptoms after that so i have taken only this point so need not to waste with hearing in their audio so after this so i have considered this consideration about family members was one of the important factor and lying on painful side is another important factor third one wants to take on pathological rubric so this is the repertorial chart consider for him first delusion imagination starve family will second one is pathological rubric chest inflammation lungs third one is general at least lying aggravation side on left so many of them had doubt why you are taken delusion rubric in acute cases sir is not favor of delusion rubrics in case of acute cases he always insisting to take delirium instead of delusions so delusions is apt for dna virus not for rna virus these are all the points learned from sir but knowingly or unknowingly i am also the doctor who is treating the patient is also a constitution it is very difficult task to treat a family members or close friends or relatives for a doctor so i am also not an exclusive so i have taken this this was because i know personally i know him so i have taken this rubric uh, i don't know how i have taken what mental state i have taken i don't know but i have taken i came sepia so at the same times i compared the symptoms with acute shot dull chilly thirstless usually sir insisting always if the person is attended any spiritual things or any uh, functions or any things where he is affected by the vibrations he prefers to give sepia always this point i forgot during the uh, last interview with uh, with his wife only i found that oh they were went for an housewarming ceremony so i have considered as a based on that i have selected sepia in through acute shot at the same time with a syphilitic rubric and pathological rubric i was consider i was arrived at sepia there is two route so i am happy both the routes are sepia is coming so i prescribed sepia lm1 because here many of them uh, make arise doubt why sir lm suddenly so i am knowingly or unknowingly i have given two high potency drugs for previous two days but this time i don't want to take a risk to same with high potency so i have to bypass the things so i consider to go for lm potency so i have taken one pill of sepia lm1 to 1 liter of drinking water and i add <clears throat> about um, i think 1 ml 1 ml or 20 drop of uh, dispensing alcohol i have given i have to check the case sheet dispensing alcohol and send to the patients ask to drink frequent small quantity it's not good to drink large quantity at the same time so multiple doses i have given so next day that is fourth day is fourth day
the bucket which she meant is placebo. So she said there is no fever, he slept well, taken food, something better than previous day. But cough is reducing, but still persisting. He not tried off, he's not, uh, he's got, he's not passed his stool or not uh, used the toilets. So that's what she said. So hope the medicine is started working because the generals are improving, he's feeling better, he slept well, cough reducing, but still it is there. So this is a simple case, but so last year, SAR was introduced. Sepia is one of the very important drug for this pandemic, but there is a lot of controversies faced. SAR faced even with experienced homeopaths also uh, was not happy why SAR was told Sepia until he shared about the Sepia in October. In October, he, he, he has talked about sepia almost three to four hours, I think. So after that only, I believed why Sir has given sepia as a very important factor here. So after I started using sepia. So not only these patients, if remember those who are uh, uh, predictive followers is very important factor. I don't bother about the other factors. If they are also willing, can do this. So usually I will give a spray of sepia, half liter water, 0.5 ml sepia 200 and given to the patient. Either they are taking medicines or whatever the things, ask them to put on his room, outside the home, wherever this entry points like door, window, um, then AC vent. So all the places where they have to apply the sepia. So even asymptomatic cases, this is only enough. So I have given a sepia to many asymptomatic cases, but they are all well within two or three days. There is no things just as per the government procedure, they have to quarantine for seven days, but they are not developed a single coriza or fever, anything. This is one of the beauty of sepia. So don't hesitate to use sepia. So now I don't have that spray bottle now. So it's very difficult to get. So I'm giving 0.5 ml as the, in the container. Ask them uh, after reach your home, just you mix with a half liter water. Whether you are getting a spray bottle, that's well and good. Otherwise you uh, apply uh, in and around your home, room or where you are staying. So it is invariably I am following to all the people, right? This is a simple case of simple inflammatory process, mostly on the soric and sorosyphilitic stage. There is not much psychosis involvement. <clears throat> this is an another case, very interesting. It is a pathological case. So Mr. Dash, a 52 years male, businessman running a small scale industry. He's also uh, one of the known person to me. He is the father of my son's colleague. So I have seen him many times when I'm, when I was, when I go to school to pick up my son, I have seen many times, just give smile. I also offered just to smile and uh, come back. This kind of relationship we have. So recently, yeah, almost one week back, I think around 14, 15, like that. So he, his wife came to clinic with anxious and weeping. She narrated that her husband was admitted in hospital about 10 days for COVID. But day by day, he is deteriorating. He started worsening his complaint. 
so when the day he was admitted i think on the 4th uh, 4th may i think so his ct score was 9 of 25 so after a few days maybe 3 4 days later he had more problem then again they went for ct that time the ct score of 14 of 25 then again you know after one week it's 19 of 25 the is getting more marks day by day is improving right as per the uh, investigation as per the investigations already he has treated with remedy sever six vials see remedy sever is a black market so they offered 1.5 lakhs for six vials so almost they uh, paid 25000 for each vial so pathetic so after remedy sever only they know that uh, ct was not good ct is progressing to 19 of 25 so the treating does, doctor is moving to next stage so now we are planning to go for an anti cancer drug the drug name was bevatas bevatas 400 mg is anti cancer drug it is new entry of black market one uh, i think it is an infusion one uh, bottle of infusion is 40000 rupees it is a mrp but we don't know about the black market remedies were was selling up to five fold right so bevatas uh, they are planned so um, he is an high flow oxygen that is 16 liters per hour so she consulted me i told to wait one or two days no need to uh, no need to hurry bevatas you have to think twice so don't go now just you wait for one or two days so i tried to talk him through whatsapp call but couldn't understand what he says but i understand his gesture is more of frightful fearful then his wife also told the same thing sir he is a more uh, fearful nature he is always timid nature not mingles easily others but such a situation is more if he is facing danger uh, like that she told moreover in the covid ward daily daily he is seeing some deaths in front of his eyes this uh, it's a pathetic situation no whoever that it's a fearful condition so that is the his expression so daily night he call, his wife calls him uh, about the condition and what kind of food he wants for next day he told he, he tells about the what food he required for next day so most of the days he wants liquid food right so he is not interested to take solid food offer from home so that was her concern so i so i asked her to get a few more investigation blood investigations apart from ct she has given only ct reports so this is the one first uh, one for uh, covid positive report that is rt pcr test second one is of ct scan that is a second ct first ct uh, i couldn't able to get first ct second ct shows 15 of 25 but you know why in the last case i praised one radiology radiologist he has given precise uh, information where you are having issue he has given detailed uh, things for two page this fellow sandal given only half page that's an insufficient for homeopaths to treat but only thing uh, 15 of 25 15 of 25 means almost 60 percentage of lung involvement so this is the latest ct report but it is uh, i don't know how they are doing this much ct the there are the uh, in each and every patients they are doing multiple cts is the patient now for allopathic hospital see 19 of 25 means almost 80 percent lung involvement so 
So available symptoms I got was only the is anxiety and his, his lung is losing its power day by day. These two things are I got. So we have taken ang delirium anxious and another rubric is chest paralysis lung. Chest paralysis lung was the pathological rubric I considered because the lung not able to perform its own. Day by day, it's losing its power. It's pumping action or it's expanding capacity. All the things that it's losing. So I considered as a chest paralysis lung was an another rubric. It is a syphilitic rubric. So the last case, I have taken the rubric called chest inflammation and lung because there is only inflammation. Um, there is only one thing here is losing its lung capacity, lung power. So I have taken the delirium, inflammation, lung paralysis. So in that we had a few drugs. Obviously, he told he wants to take uh, liquid food. So I, that is one of the PDF, potential differentiating factor I consider. So based on that, uh, I thought of Aconite also. But um, Sir told about the Veratrum album. So he's an Sir told about the Veratrum album. He will deserve our liquid food. So straight away gone to Veratrum album 50M. Veratrum album 50M, one dose. That means one drop of Veratrum album mixed with one liter of water and send it to the uh, ward. Because hospitals won't allow other things. So we have told to, um, it is a water, drinking water. Like that we have sent out, uh, sent, uh, sent to him. It reached the patient daily. He, 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 take, he has taken multiple small quantity. So I have given around 5.30, 6 o'clock evening. Next day morning, I got a feedback call from his wife. So she tells that when compared to previous day, is talking is something clear. He yes, takes the food better manner, like that. So slight generals are improving. That's the thing she is revealing in the call. So I asked her to collect a few more reports, few more blood reports. No. So after third day, she bring the all uh, hospital reports. It shows that C-reactive protein is increased, and D-dimer is increased. And ferritin, urea creatine is there. The ferritin um, D-dimer is increased. So, wait. So, what the things? What the things happening in COVID pneumonia? A uh, few, I think. Uh, in the last one year, we have had the word, dynamic word, cytokine storm, cytokine shock, so many cytokine related things we are hearing. So what is a cytokine? Why the, these blood parameters are important here? So you all are know about inflammations. So whenever any foreign antibodies enter in our body, our immune systems are responding, immediately responding, and it releases some inflammatory mediators, right? It releases some inflammatory mediators. 
those inflammatory mediators like interleukin 1, interleukin 6, interleukin 7, tumor necrosing factor, etc. What is these mediators? These mediators are nothing but it is a signaling molecule between immune cells and antigen present in our body. There is a sudden invasion of um, antibodies, that is virus. The immune also immunity also releasing enormous amount of uh, cytokines, that is this inflammatory mediators, right? So you take, so you understand better manner. This is the alveoli, that is the pink color globe. This is alveoli. This is the capillary surrounding alveoli. So when the COVID virus affects the pneumocyte cells, that is pneumocyte 2 cells of alveoli, so what happened? The blood vessels around the alveoli become congested and become congested. The WBCs are getting peripheralized in the vessels. After it peripheralized, it diffuses out. That is extravasation of fluids and WBCs to tackle the attack of antigen. So obviously the blood wall getting thin. So blood wall getting thin, most of the fluid comes out. There is extravasations happen. Now what happened after the extravasations, see the interstitial space between the alveoli and the capillary membrane, the interstitial space become thick and swells. Here, this is the uh, uh, things happening in the interstitial space. So this in the capillary, what happened? Most of the WBCs are gone out. Now the blood, uh, blood contains RBCs and platelets. So the, due to the thin of capillary wall, the liquids also comes out. Now the blood gets thicker. So that is the reason circulatory ferritin level is increased. One thing, right? Circulatory ferritin level is increased. It shows that there is a thickness of blood. The active inflammation process is going. The circulatory ferritin there, most of the WBCs are reduced in the circulation. It, it has gone to the focusing area, right? So this is the respiratory membrane. This is the interstitial space for better understanding. Okay, this and all, it will take time. Uh, it's need not uh, consider now. Right. So in the cytokine, another thing, cytokine storm. Oh, yeah. Cytokine, already we know about cytokine is the inflammatory mediators released by the inflammatory mediators released by the immune cells. Storm is nothing but it's the uncontrolled activity of the air. This air can take all the things to them. If anything strong, if anything weight, if anything can able to survive, whatever the air is coming, storm is coming, that is the things only can survive. That, that means those who have eye immunity can survive. It is a simple thing. Right. So due to this cytokine release, now the blood vessels are see now only the uh, platelets and uh, RBCs are more in the circulation. So it gets clogged due to lack of fluid part so it, it gets clogged and started coagulating right started coagulating it becomes sluggish this is the psychotic phase it becomes like this so but body wants to maintain the circulation wants to send nutrition to other part no so it pushes to the it pushes the capillary so the clogged part detaches detaches and enter to the distant area. 
so it becomes emboli this is the way embolism happening so this is the way embolism happening so the clogged blood vessel detaching sorry the clot clotted blood become detach so during that time it releases some fibrin material that is a fibrin splitting product named as d dimer so whenever you are getting a d dimer is increased it shows that the person is going to get some blood clotting related disorders so d dimer is increased any condition associated with blood clot or occlusion of blood vessels some other conditions like myocardial infarction uh, cerebrovascular accident deep vein thrombosis disseminated intravascular coagulation even hemorrhagic dengue so many conditions where the d dimer can possibly raised so when the d dimer raising means a a formation of blood clot is there so we have to a cubed according to the report so c reactive protein is a specific protein mark non specific protein marker raised in any inflammatory state so d dimer is also raised so they are wrongly mentioned instead of 50 they are mentioned for 500 see another interleukin that is what the cytokine cytokines are almost seven fold eight fold increased it means there is a huge storm huge storm or huge discharge of inflammatory mediators so this inflammatory mediators releasing in the circulation means the immunity is under uncontrolled syphilitic stress right shows that so obviously they are doing they are giving lot of uh, steroids this is the evidence for steroid induced diabetic so already we have taken paralysis of lung so new thing we have taken is the generalities hemorrhagic tendency blood thick right third one is delirium sepsis because after given veratrum album he was mild improvement for two days there is much there is not much change the same level of oxygen was maintained so we have decided based on the investigations and his symptoms we are decided to another level so here you are taken blood thick that is the that is the thing i explained now this is proposed by dr praful vijayakar sir the sim, this rubric was proposed by dr praful vijayakar sir the third one is we are taken sepsis so patient is septic stage because sepsis is nothing it is a cytokine storm or if the cytokine storm affected multiple part of the body we can name it as a sepsis it is a olden term so new term new term is a cytokine storm or cytokine syndrome so many things there so he, the patient goes the first sepsis he is already in delirium so we are considered anxiety only so delirium plus sepsis so both are the syphilitic the high voltage syphilitic rubric so we have taken we got the lacasis so lacasis is very beautiful remedy for blood clot or disorder with blood vessels or thick blood so he wants always wants more air wants fanning so we have considered to give lacasis consider to give lacasis tenum with the same method given to 1 liter of water sent so gradually his 16 liters become 8 liters and 4 liters so after that they they have changed the, the respirator mask into ordinary mask 
ఈ ఫిట్ ఫర్ డిశ్చార్జ్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ బట్ ద హాస్పిటల్ అథారిటీస్ వాంట్స్ టు వన్ ఆక్సిజన్ కాన్సన్ట్రేటర్ విత్ యూ ఫర్ ఫ్యూ డేస్ సో దే అరేంజ్ ఆక్సిజన్ వెంటిలేటర్ సో ఫర్ దట్ ఈ స్టేక్ అన్ అనదర్ వన్ డే సో ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ ఈ డిశ్చార్జ్ so what he is saying is it was much much better is not you using oxygen on day time for safety concern means because of his anxiety he is using mask at night times his wife told that he removed the mask when, uh, around 3 o'clock or something he started use mask at 10 o'clock removed around 3 o'clock like that she told uh for talking you know, while he is talking the mild dyspnea is there that's also he revealed on 21st during the day of discharge he had mild he had dyspnea attack that's also he witnessed here so it's nothing but he discharged he is very cheerful man came out of the hospital he is very happy came very f- wants to go out of the hospital so he uh, walked hurried rushed to parking area it's almost 100 meter from hospital lift so he rushed there after um, after he sit on the car he felt dyspnea so immediately they check with pulse oximeter the spo2 gone to 60 bad part they immediately called me i told to uh, if you have uh, when uh, oxygen concentrator you use otherwise uh, you open the window and move the car if he gets the forcible air somewhat is better like that we told they removed the car within five minutes he is better so i visited once in the evening he was fine so this is the thing right so this is these two are example cases from this what i learned is the protocol formed by me what i learned from college days what i learned from dr prafal vijayakar sir and what i learned from patients made as a small protocol trying to get pqrs and syphilitic symptoms from the patient number 1 after getting either pqrs or syphilitic symptom the converting into the syphilitic rubric this should be important factor after that we have to g- get pathological rubric pathological rubric is what sir told hemorrhage blood thick this is the deep pathological thing so if you understand the pathology as well as the investigations you can able to get this pathological rubric so this is the pathological rubric then obviously altered disposition of the patient the patient's present state so we have consider we have to consider after that cross check with acute chart since it is acute disease no so we have give important priority for that also you can cross check the acute chart then we can confirm the remedy so mostly i am using high potency most of the circumstances because i am getting when i am getting confidence of my remedy my remedy my potency selection will be high this is my you can call me a courage but not a audacious if i get 
highly accurate syphilitic mental rubric or disposition that's also give me a confidence to get go for an higher potency prominent pathological rubric that's also one of the important factor so i never used less than 200 c past one month except one case because that was the only potency i had sometimes available potency is the best potency but not available medicines right available potency then since the vitality is more depressed for covid cases see lung is the life so a person can live without food for several days even without water for several days some other basic things he can able to manage without those things but a person cannot survive without air air element is very important for him so in in covid it directly affect the lung uh, sorry lung this lung is the vital organ sending or assisting to send nutrition to other parts of the body so when the lung is fail sir or when the lung is struggling to survive the other parts obviously gets survive so only most cases gets tremendous weakness right so we need a yeah, we need our drug to stimulate the vitality it should be strong stimulate for that only i preferred i potency sometimes countless time erratic uh, er, uh, it's uh, i was my practice was something different in potency selection and dosage whatever i think i given that day, that was the thing happened my sincere request don't use high potency if you are not sure of the remedy if the remedy is covered syphilitic part of the patient it should be accurate you can go with whatever the potency at the same time if it's not cover the syphilitic point it is very danger to choose high potency it may end up with genetic alterations so almost in the past 35 days i think it's four four days back i have treated 683 cases of various phase phase of acute febrile illness including diagnosed covid covid like illness mild to moderate o2 deprived cases severe lung pathology with uh, severe lung pathology with admitted in icu hopeless cases even post covid syndromes etc so my memorable case of ct my memorable cases of covid is ct affected 22 of 25 with spo2 was 40 admitted in icu treated with crotalus haridus 50 m he was admitted in uh, district headquarters hospital icu so we have given crotalus haridus 50 m through water but attenders facing difficulties to give the medicine inside we have talked with one nurse and asked to take the water can like a holy water or something we, we did some puja so it is our belief so we are we want to uh, send to the patients like that we, anyway most of the most of them can respond for this kind of sentiments no at least we have to use further sentiment we send the holy waters holy water that is crotalus saridus water to the patient he has taken next day his spo2 was improved so in the government hospital setup they are differ from private hospital once they are getting improved they wants to send the patient out so immediately one or two days uh, he reached home he is good still now he is good he is improving there is no more oxygen usage in home but i couldn't able to collect the investigations and other reports this process is going soon i am uh, i will collect so, so when you administer the right remedy 
you should start to improve of spo2 within few hours or few minutes immediately say another two cases of 19 of 25 so one is this one uh, another case is this one is used both veratrum album and lacasis another case is um, used with lacasis she also fine she also discharged few cases with lm potency with the plusing method that sepia is there no after that uh, he has given uh, plusing potency he is given serial succussions now he is fine today morning also i have talked to him he is he came to form his old form he talks like that so at least 10 cases of ct of 15 of 25 cases seen still there is there in the follow up so more than 30 cases i am handling with home conditions without hospitalizations so most of them taking only home medicines hope so here there is a culture in there is a siddha practice is more the people having the soft corner over the siddha medicines they are taking so many kashayam like kabasura kudinir and what nilavembu kudinir apart from that ginger water lemon water so many they are having so many menu menu uh, few of them take, taking we can't stop many peoples but few of them strongly clinging what we told unfortunately last life of two elderly cases one is um, both of them remote area one person died of stroke another one she was she was not taken care properly we told for investigations but they refused one or two days finally they planned for investigation unfortunately she died on that day early morning so lowest spo2 treated in home condition was 62 improved to 80 plus within one and a half hour was i feel this is one of my achievement now this man also fine this is like a dream so i am feeling proud when she talks when she told things like this i am using variety of medicine cannot conclude a single medicines cannot able to conclude a single remedy as a genus epidemicus it is difficult for me it is not possible for me at the same time many of them asked about the preventive so i don't use preventive much but due to the social media pressure and and other medias i have to give arsenic album because directly they come for arsenic album only so so usually i am not preferring any preventive medicines if they ask i will give most of the time on the placebo so that interesting case that one one and a half hour accident So this is the feedback within one and a half hours, 62 to 84. Next day morning. That's what the midnight he had a drop of oxygen water. So uh, he's, uh, yes, he slept. It's not taken. Morning again, they started to give water. Water means nothing but this uh, lacus is added 
water so again he has improved in the morning so yesterday i called all these three people asked about the st present status then only i prepared my slide right so my suggestions what i arrived what i derived from 700 almost 700 cases first two stages so what i mean the first stage means it is upper respiratory infection from nose to throat this is the first stage second stage from throat to bronchus the second stage third stage is alveolar and lung so the first two stages means from nose to bronchi so these are all the drugs i am uh, using this bold letter that is a caps letter drugs are the frequently using drugs small letter lungs are infrequent in that eucalyptus is also the infrequent it's not frequent the mistakenly in the caps so bryonia pulsatilla arsenicum everybody is experiencing as it was very important drug because in covid uh, the day one usually starts with fever day two maybe mild discharges of diarrhea or something it will happen uh, means day one or day two they will get a fever immediately after a fever some people are getting diarrhea the both are checked by allopathic antipyretic and anti diarrheal drugs the person automatically goes to psychotic stage like severe weakness dullness tiredness they goes so in that cases acid pass is very important those situation the person don't want to take food only liquid and refreshing food so in this situation we can think of acid pass and veratrum both are the commonest drug obviously mercar i have an uncontrolled diarrhea a boy about 12 year it is 14 times per day it was exhausted first day i have given something naxomica or something not help second day they have taken again so dull chilly thirsty so i prescribed mercar 30 not 30 mercar 200 mercar 200 he was improved the same night itself the next day morning was good Samonium aconite for fear fright component was high who's those who are having stamonium no, sorry those who are having high fear fright component we can think of uh, stamonium and aconite china obviously i have used in many cases stannum metallicum i have used only one case stannum metallicum one m she had cough cold weakness but the ct was normal there is no covid infection ct at the same time rt pcr also negative but she, she had tremendous tiredness after the uh, cough so in that case it's similar to bryonia complaint started gradually she has more weakness so i and i got stannum metallicum and used the stannum metallicum also she's also better on the next day itself third stage that's what we are struggling that's what we are is, is seeing still now lacus is crotalus aridus veratrum album veratrum buried muratic acid yeah muratic acid also one of the important drug for i have given one case uh, with a severe debility along with that she had um, mouth ulcer i think that case carbo which has given many elderly people's sepia that's a, we have seen sepia the sepia we very important factor is there is a word given as a neglected pneumonia in respiratory system i think in bori karpatak i think in the both are, they are given neglected pneumonia neglected pneumonia is nothing but covid affection starts with pneumonia but people are the doctors fail to recognize the pneumonia the person come for fever so is only fever so we take the fever part and diarrhea diarrhea part after that he developed dullness tiredness then cough dyspnea like that the fate of disease is going so when the thing is goes in the sepia stage and the fourth stage fifth stage right so if we have given sepia an initial stage it checked from there itself 
that is called neglected pneumonia the specific word given in um, boric vipra vipra sir has told vipra elapse elapse i have given one person but uh, unfortunately i got lacasis only but the, when he moves sir i want to uh, when he moves he told sir what kind of food i have to take i i told you can take whatever the things you want simply some nagging people asking someone so many questions so those people uh, uh, out of my control out of uh, my frustration out of my thing manushya saapradha ellame saapradalam that is the word i gives to you to them so one person specifically want sir shall i take curd rice why you want to take curd rice sir i want i aashiya irukku sir he told sir i want i like sir there is i feel like to take sir okay good you can take so that man got the i got the medicine again and taken out the lacasis and given the elapse one is beautifully responding and next day itself <clears throat> this is the first time sir uh, i have read many times desire for buttermilk desire for cold food like that i have read many times sir buttermilk and all who going who are going to tell i am i like butterfield buttermilk but the first time in the few days back only i experienced the same thing it was beautiful madriya madiga is it's like a heaven so convalescent stage after the fever after the pneumonia recovering stage many people wants to gain their vitality so those cases sepia china chinina mars and selenium selenium is surprising surprising inclusion here there is one specific rubric generalities weakness fever after prolonged in that the few drugs are there selenium is the only three mark remedy so i have given selenium once upon a time i used use selenium after fever i will give selenium once upon a time but now i cut short <clears throat> after uh, intensely follow the predictive i cut short this is my experience so i am evolving i am it's not a complete one i am evolving day by day when compared to last year this year my confidence level is more because i learned many thing from dr sir but in this situation definitely we are missing sir i forgot to tell pyrogen pyrogen also one of the very important drug for um this cytokine storm so pyrogen also uh, very good drug you can i can use pyrogen for one black fungus case still it is an observation i will reveal if i get the results thank you thank you all thank you for patient hearing so this is my email id and whatsapp number if you feel any doubts regarding with this you can ask me if i know i will answer immediately otherwise i will learn and tell you so it is not a presentation of boasting my thing it is sharing my experience to the colleagues or juniors or friends to improve their confidence level the confidence is the secret of treating covid so when the doctor is more confident he can able to treat he should be confident but he should not be audacious right he should not be foolish courage he should know the things and then only do the things thank you thank you all